So we are given alcohol, and we know that our alcohol at 20 degrees Celsius has a vapor pressure of 40 millimeters of mercury, and at 61 degrees Celsius it has a vapor pressure of 360 millimeters of mercury. Now our goal is to find the change in enthalpy of vaporization of one mole of alcohol. So to find that we have to use something called the clausius clairpont equation. Now, if you want to learn more about this equation, where it comes from, and why it's important, check out the link below. So, let's look at our equation. Notice that in this equation, we have three knowns and two unknowns. So, we have a constant R, that's the gas constant. Uh, we know that. Now, we have the pressure and we have a temperature. What we don't have is this C constant and this enthalpy of vaporization. In fact, that's exactly what we want to find. So if we somehow know this, we can find that. But an even better tactic would be to get rid of this. So notice we have a single equation and two unknowns. So mathematically, we can't solve this. But if we come up with a system of equations, two equations and two unknowns, we could somehow manipulate the two equations, get rid of that C, and solve for our uh, unknown. And in fact, that's exactly what we're going to do. Notice we have initial conditions and final conditions. So why not come up with two of these equations, one for the initial condition and one for the final condition? That's exactly what we do here. This one is for our final conditions, where PF and TF are P final and T final. And this guy is for our initial conditions. P initial and T initial. And in order to get rid of these two C's, let's subtract this guy from this guy. Okay? That's exactly what we do right here. So, this guy minus this guy. Now notice we have the equal sign here. We're going to subtract everything on this side first, then everything on this side next. So, natural log of P final minus natural log of P initial. And we get exactly this. Next, we subtract this whole section from this whole section. So first, we take this and we put it here. That's exactly what we did. Next, we subtract this guy from this guy. But notice we have a negative sign here. And that means we have to distribute this negative sign to here and here. So this guy becomes positive. So we get plus this guy. And this negative makes this positive a negative. So this guy becomes a negative. And now notice we have a plus C and a minus C. So the C's cancel. And we get just this guy plus this guy. And that's exactly what we have right here. Now our next step is to basically equate this guy to simply this guy and rewrite the equations uh, to a better looking formula. So this guy, using the laws of logs, we can rewrite in this format. So natural log of P final divided by P initial equals, now notice on this side, we have two common terms, or one common term. This guy and this guy are two, are, are the same term, is the same term. So basically, we want to take this guy out of our equation and leave this guy and this guy alone. So negative change in enthalpy of vaporization over R, our common term, times 1 over T final minus 1 over T initial. Notice that here this was a positive, but since we're taking a negative out, this becomes a negative. And to check that, we multiply this out and we should get this form. And in fact, we do. Now our final step before we plug and chug is simply to rewrite this so that we have this thing on one side and everything else, all the knowns, on the other side. So you want the unknown on one side and the knowns on the other side. And this is what we get. So what we do is we find the common denominator here, multiply this by Ti and this by Tf, bring everything over, bring the R over, and then bring the negative over. And we get this. Finally, we plug in all our information. So our R is 8.31 joules per mole times Kelvin times natural log of 360 or 40, which is simply 9. 
uh, times. Now, we have to use our temperature in Kelvin, and that means we have to convert from Celsius to Kelvin by simply adding 273 to each uh, temperature. So, this is what we get. We basically plug this in, into our calculator, we solve, and we get approximately 44 kilojoules per mole. So this is how much energy is required, or how much enthalpy is required, to basically vaporize our liquid alcohol into gas alcohol.